Harvey makes an unusual visit to Selena's apartment. We have a fight, and what at the press conference? Something bad happens. All right, and welcome back. So let's continue on. Um, somebody's calling us on our bed. Bruce. Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. Another one. Another I hadn't one? heard from you. I didn't know what happened. If, if you were. I uh, took a bit of a beating when I ran to the children of Arkham. What happened? It's kind of a long story. I'll tell you about it when I get back. <sighs> I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well, that certainly explains it. You got something to say, Alfred? I'm not judging you. Sounded like you were. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around, if she's trustworthy. Yeah, um, that's a smart idea. I'll see what I can find. At the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. Right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. <laughs> Open fridge. It looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. At least she's got the essentials. Hey, I, uh, I brought breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. Bruce? What the... Seriously? What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. I spent the night here. That's it. You... <laughs> I can't believe this! Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me! You were just using me, weren't you? Both of you! They don't care about you. No one does. Harvey, I'm sorry. For what? We have nothing to be sorry for. I don't answer to him, and neither do you. Come on. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... Get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? They're coming for all of us. He can't stop them. And neither can you! I may go down for what my father did, but I won't take her down with me. She'll be fine. Ah, oh, funny. Thinking you have a choice. Thinking you can save the people around you. Thinking you could do what Harvey couldn't! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Always depending on everyone else to save him. Like a child. You stop it! Now you see. These aren't your friends. And they aren't going to help you. Harvey. All right, now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. 
Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it! Um, Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Who am I? This isn't you. Just calm down! <laughs> Shut up! Jesus, Harvey. Of course, I gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it, one way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No. No, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. Yeah, always getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me. The call's already been made. Harvey. Bruce. No, I don't want to hurt you. This isn't... They turned their backs on you! Harvey, put the knife down! <sighs> Selena! <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone. You know we can take him out. <sighs> Have you lost your mind? <sighs> no. Harvey! You need <sighs> to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Come on, Harvey, that's enough. Come on, you idiot. Oh, Bruce. <laughs> Please, not with him. What the hell? But I can't. Oh, God, I can't listen to him. You need to get help. You can't deal with this on your own. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. Just let me talk to him. You don't know what you're doing. He needs a professional. Please. All right. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! Damn it. <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. That's what I get for wishful thinking. You don't need to be afraid of Harvey. You can handle him. Yeah, because yeah, I really want to stay here wondering when he'll show up. If he'll be armed. If I'll be ready. No thanks. Yeah. That means you too. We won't go far. Don't worry. You should... come stay with me. Uh... I don't know. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. Yeah, no problem. I'll think about it. Good. Oh yeah, the, the I mean the the press conference. Yeah, it's... Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, 
And they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. No, uh, I need to keep my composure, bide my time. If I start spilling secrets, I'll just look desperate. I guess you're the businessman. You better get going. I've got some packing to do. The offer still stands. Sounding better and better by the minute. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. A step to regaining what you're being forced to give up. Of course, Regina. Whatever I can do to help. That's good, Bruce. Trust us to sort this all out. Everything will be fine. No, it won't be. Already then? We are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance. Happy to be here too, Oz. Really? Thank you, Bruce. I appreciate you being such a professional. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone. And thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've all How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Me, and taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. Oh no, dear heart, not even close. No one's gonna follow you around and take pictures now. It'd almost be sad if you were so bloody handsome. I know who you really are, Oz. And I'm gonna expose you. Oh, knowing and proving are two very different things, Bruce. This is just a first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. And Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. That is not going to happen. Nope. Oh, don't be a sore loser, Bruce. It doesn't look nice on you. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it. Just tell me. I have to know. Nah, uh, uh, that's not what I asked. What? Pretty please. Mm. Turns out your dear mum found out what your daddy was up to. Threatened to turn him in, she did. She said she didn't want to be a part of it. Now you can imagine, Hill wasn't too keen on that idea. So he slid a few dollars Joe Chill's way and, well... You saw the rest, mate. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent allegations against my family, I have decided to voluntarily step down as CEO of Wayne Enterprises.
I was horrified to learn of my father's corruption. I am ashamed of his actions and would like to apologize to Gotham for the pain he has caused so many of you. I'm sorry. That's it, mate. I have complete faith in the board as they work towards righting the wrongs of the past. With that, I am excited to announce Oswald Cobblepot. He's an international entrepreneur with a Gotham legacy. He is by far the best candidate to replace me. <laughs> You're too kind. The company is in great hands. Oswald will lead Wayne Enterprises and Gotham City into a new era of financial prosperity. And so, with that, Oswald Cobblepot. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bruce. You did very well. Great words from a great man. I would yeah. first like to express my deepest gratitude for the man I'm replacing. Nice Bruce. statement. The he press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. I did what I felt was right. Yeah, well, someone has to. I just didn't think it'd be you. I am extremely... Drop your pen. That's not. <laughs> you feel that? I'm sure some of you remember That's the drug taking hold of you. Don't fight it. How could you? Retribution, Bruce. What? I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the penguin. What? Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we can just get one more round of applause for my best friend, the man of the hour, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Wayne. Ouch! Someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Stop telling him! Who else will deliver justice? some amazing scores and well now we're gonna see um for the next episode what's gonna happen you know next time on batman the total series we have fuck you all right here we go after his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards oswald cobblepot and members of the press Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. What? Even with Batman as its protector, Gotham already has enough deranged criminals on its streets. I believe that Gotham's citizens deserve to be safe, that they deserve to be protected. What the Alfred? Gun? Even if that means. I Whoa! Have to do how do we it then? Myself. What the hell? With oh the children my... of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman? This is so not gonna be good. This is so bad. So, so bad. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. Um. Hello? Crap. Alright, so I hope episode 4 is coming out 
really, 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 really soon. So that I can play it because this sounds like epic. Epic, Guardian of God. All right, next time. So until then, please like and comment on the videos, subscribe to the channel, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode, episode 4, Guardian of Gotham. Until then, bye-bye.